everybody how's it going i'm back with another tesla video for you guys and this is the second video i've done today i did a video earlier about using one usb uh to record dash cam footage as well as have music on the same usb so if you guys are interested uh do look at that i have more dash cam helpful tips and direct videos coming out over the next few days but tonight i want to show you guys how to actually view text messages in your web browser on your car and i do that through an app called airdroid i uh, just download airdroid i signed in uh, logged uh, signed up signed in and then you go on your web browser and you type web dot air droid dot com the experience isn't the greatest i'm not gonna lie to you guys but it does work and that's the important thing so you come to the app you hit airdroid web uh, scan QR code. I'm going to tap off. Let's see if we can get this nice and quick. Come on, it's in view. Maybe you have to like... There it is. So I'm going to hit sign in. And you can see on my screen, it says connecting to Google Pixel XL and it's testing my network. Uh, apparently, there are ways to send and receive notifications on here too, but the big thing is messaging. So if I click messages, it will actually load. Uh, on the left side, it's going to show my contacts. Uh, just for privacy reasons, I am going to hide this uh, when it does pop up. Uh, but I'll show you this conversation. I'm just talking to my friend. He says he's just eating lunch. And uh, I'll just say making food. This. That's what I'm going to be doing as soon as this is done, this video. So making food, I'm going to hit send and I will show you on my phone in two seconds. That it will pop up uh, making food. So as you guys can see, it does work. Uh, there is a way to send and receive notifications as well, uh, like that come up on your phone that will pop up here. Uh, the web app is kind of slow. It's kind of bulky, but the thing is, is it does work. I don't know any other way to do this yet. Uh, let's see, desktop notifications, uh, allow certain apps, create a test notification. So as you can see, notification mirror test. So any notification I get on my phone will actually pop up here, uh, which is kind of cool. So you can technically just set this up before you start driving and you can just get your notifications that pop up on your phone up on your displays rather than having it on your phone because I usually have my phone charging uh, down here. So just something cool. It does work. Like I said, it's not the greatest, but it does work. That's the important thing. So maybe someone out there will make something like this, but dedicated for Teslas with better notification integration. I know there is a uh, Tesla apps web app or something like that uh, with like a, I want to say $30, $40 a year subscription fee. I don't know how well it works. I'm going to try it too, but uh, for a free solution, it's not bad. So that's it for today. Make sure you guys are subscribed. More Tesla videos coming all the time. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.